back to my channel. I am Tanya Cortez, your favorite foundation junkie. And on this channel, I talk about everything complexion from foundation reviews, foundation wear tests, foundation first impressions. I do some hauls and a couple little things in between. So if you like that kind of thing, please subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, just my subscribers. Thank you so much. Well, today I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite primers that I use on my oily textured skin. Now, these are just some of them. You know, I, I have so many primers, foundations, concealers, just a lot of that stuff. But these are some of my favorites to kind of blur the pores, kind of give it a little more filtered effect, kind of fill them in some so they're not so big, you know just to help that base for, to get ready for the foundation. So I just wanted to show you a couple of my favorites and maybe these are some that you already use. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the difference between the low end and a higher end pore filler and see how they work side by side. So I'll show you that as well. But the first, uh, first primer, I'm gonna show you one first I'm gonna get it out of the way that I feel like does not work for textured oily skin I think it works great for normal to dry skin um, but I don't think that it would necessarily work for us oily really oily girls now even if you have dry skin and it's textured I think this still would work for you and this is the Gucci silk primer serum now, I just got this primer when I got the Gucci foundation. This is so hydrating. Not that anything is wrong with that, but it really is not a good thing for somebody who's extremely oily from the beginning. So I just didn't care for this. I tried this with a different foundation and in an hour I was an oil slick. <laughs> so smells great, goes on really nice. It feels like a serum going on, but this is not the best for oily skin. I just wanted to tell you guys that in case you had that. But one of my old favorites is a popular one. I hear about it all the time. I do like it. I wear it a lot. And that is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is a nice blurring pr primer. It's not a pore filling, but it is. It blurs the pores, makes it look really nice and smooth under the foundation. But it doesn't like fill in the pores, but it does help minimize the look of the large pores. So I do like this a lot. I only use it in certain areas because this can be a little drying. It will turn white if you use too much. Matter of fact, it'll turn white if you don't use a lot. <laughs> so, but no, I like this a lot and I think this is worth a try. I'm gonna put the prices in the video so you know how much this stuff is. You can get all these primers at Sephora. The next one is a very popular one as well and YouTube made me buy it. And because YouTube made me buy it, I bought, I bought it and I love it. And this is the Tatcha um, Skin Canvas Primer. Love this primer a lot. It's a nice blurring primer. It's not, it is a little tight, you know, you can feel it, but once it kind of warms up with your foundation and everything, you don't necessarily feel the tightness so much of this primer more so than you do the Laura Mercier, because that one can be a little tight. This one is a really, really nice blurring uh, primer though. I have worn that primer with just some powder and that's it, and some lip gloss and that's it, and it still looked very, very nice. Looked like I had on a whole face of foundation, but I like that a lot. The next one is this Poreless um, Putty Primer by e.l.f. If you have textured skin, this is your friend for something affordable. This is a really good primer. I love this a lot. I can get this at the supermarket. You can get it at the drugstore. This is really nice. It works very well, especially under a radiant foundation. All of these look pretty good, but this is better under a radiant foundation. It can be you can wear it under a full coverage, but I don't feel like you need it that much. You could probably do a blurring primer under a foundation and be good. But I think if you need, you know, if you want to have some pore filling filling properties on your face before you put your foundation on, of course, this is be it'll be good too. I just don't recommend it all over the face 
The next one is, now I don't know if you got, I don't even remember what video it is, <laughs> but I tried this primer with a matte foundation and honey, it made the foundation look so bad. But with because I knew that the foundation was a full coverage, sort of semi-full, it did have, this, this concealer made the foundation so tight and so dry looking. So I said, you know what? I like the primer, but let me try it with a radiant foundation and see what I get from it. This here is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier uh, Mattifying Gel Primer. Listen, this is a good affordable primer that you can wear under a nice radiant foundation like a um, like an Estee Lauder, um, I didn't forgot the name of the daggone foundation but like a nice radiant foundation. This would look really nice. It looks really nice under the Sephora Best Skin Ever. It looks good under there. Um, it looks good under um, Pat McGrath. It just looks really nice under a matte, uh, radiant foundation. And I like it a lot, you guys. And I don't know if you notice know thing. all of mine is pore reducing, you know, pore filling because of these little craters on my face. So this one is a Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. This isn't the best one, it's okay. It's okay, I know I said these are my favorites, but this is okay. I just wanted to show you, if your pores are not like super, you know, large or whatever, you could probably get away with something like this. I don't feel like I get the bang for my buck. I need something that's gonna go shoop and just, you know, close all my pores up. This one is okay. I think this is all right for forehead or chin, you know, large pores but these ones that I have around here I don't think that this one is a good one for this but I do think this is a decent pore filler now this one is one of my all-time favorites I will use this till the end of the earth and this is the Smashbox photo finish the original smooth and blur I love this if you wear this like let's say with the pore filling primer and then you put this on top of it, you talking about a missing pore, those pores look closed. You get a flawless, flawless look with this, especially if you use it with a pore, a pore filler. You know, if you don't, if you're, like I said, if your pores are not that large, some of these are, you know, you only need a little teeny bit, but see me, I kind of layer it up because you know, I got the big ones. So I put maybe put this on with a pore filler underneath because it is a difference. This is just going to smooth it out. The pore filler going to try to fill them up. So with these both together, I love the combination with it. Gives me a nice, smooth, flawless kind of look. As flawless as I can get it <laughs> with all these raised moles and stuff. The next one I like is this Milani Prime Shield. It's a face primer. It's not a blurring primer. It's not a pore filler, but it does still blur the pores. It is really nice. It will keep you pretty matte under your foundation. Really, really, you know, to keep you really nice and matte under there. So this one is a good one. Okay, so the next one is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Now this one, I wear under a super matte foundation. I do not wear this under a radiant foundation because you will be an oil slick if you are extremely oily. It doesn't blur pores, it doesn't fill pores, it doesn't do anything like that, but it is a great primer for the outer areas or wherever you don't have the large pores um, under a nice matte foundation. You can maybe make it work under something radiant if you are super dry. The next one, is my Mary Kay foundation primer. This is so smooth on the skin. It's just so nice. It makes your foundation lay so pretty and your skin feels very, very soft with this. It's not tight on your skin, anything like that, anything. It looks great under a radiant foundation. It looks good under a full matte foundation. This one is a good one to wear under the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a perfect one for that. This is a nice primer, very nice primer. If you have a Mary Kay consultant, go find her, do, you know, do whatever you need to do. I think this is like $17 or something. And I keep these on my rotation and this one is almost empty. I love this uh, primer, this is a good one. Now, these are two of my favorites. One is a new one, one is an OG, but they are my favorites. And these are the Poor Professional from Benefit, and this one is the NYX Professional Makeup Pore Filler, these two, okay? 
these are the bomb. This is like over $30. This is like less than $20. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like side by side. So as you can see in this video, it doesn't look any different. So I apply them the same. I pat them in the same. They look exactly the same going on. They both feel very, very thick and smooth at the same time, but they do the same thing. And if you look at the pores, they look exactly the same. So these are some primers that you really have to get this one if you want if you don't mind spending any extra money you can get this one but if you kind of you know budget conscious and you don't want to spend a lot of money even if you don't you know i don't care if you have the money to spend if you can get something more affordable get it and this one is oh, this is my new favorite yo i don't know i think i might like this better but if i pair this with a nice um like if i paired this with the mary Kay, let's say this would be a nice combination. Or this with the Tatcha. This would be nice. Just a little tiny bit of this and a whole lot of this. You would be really good. And I only use it right in here, right in here, right up in here. And I mean, the raised moles on my face, of course, it helps to look like it's a whole bunch of texture. It really, you know, it, I do have texture, really. But the moles make it look like I have way more than I really do. So, you know, when I put the primers on and all that, it shrinks up the, uh, the, the pores, but you can still see, you know, the, the texture from my moles. And that's all right. And that's, you should try this. You should try this. If your pockets can do it, if you're on a budget, try them. So that is, and I have an honorable mention, but I just didn't pull it out here. And the Fenty primer, the original, is a really good primer as well. I don't have it out here with me. I forgot it, but I wanted to let you know about that too. I do like that primer a lot. I don't like the radiant one, but I like the original um, Pro Filter primer. It's a good one too, especially if you add it with a pore filler, you know. So if you have the texture and you have the oil, these are some of the primers that I think might work well for you. So give them a try and see what you think. But thank you guys so much for coming by, spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. And remember, Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.